we're mainly driven by the growth in uh, mobile data. Um, the 4G LTE is really where we operate in. And we don't operate on the sort of case of the actual devices that you carry around, your phones. Uh, we believe that it become a major access for people to the internet. In other words, for their homes and for their offices, what's known as fixed wireless uh, access. There's a prediction that within the next uh, three to five years, there's going to be needed about 10 times the number of base stations that's currently available. So currently about 20,000 going to have to grow to 200. But it won't be the base stations we know at the moment. It will be things on light poles initially. In other words, uh, smaller base stations giving, because you want now lower coverage. This is not a coverage problem. This is solving a capacity problem. And uh, later on, people are predicting that will even be stuff the size of suitcases that can be distributed everywhere in order to get that capacity going. Uh, of course, uh, using antennas, we also believe can uh, reduce this demand on capacity because if you've got an outdoor antenna, for example, you can accommodate about five times the number of people with the same level of service. So for fixed wireless, uh, a consumer antenna certainly solves a lot of the capacity problem. In Europe, we have found that the adoption of LTE technology with the mobile operators has taken off quite aggressively and that has had a good effect on our business. For us that's quite significant, not only because um, the European market forms half, if not most of our business, but locally we see Europe as a leading indicator. So what's happening in Europe will probably happen here five years later. So we're expecting quite a boom in LTE and the adoption of fixed wireless and hence our products in the South African and Sub-Saharan market.